Hi guys, welcome to Webdata. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to use SAS uh, with Svelte Kit. Now, first thing is we have to initialize Svelte. So we'll do that npm init Svelte at next in our directory. And we'll use the skeleton project. We don't need anything else. It should be enough. Now we are going to install uh, two dependencies. They are npm install also use hyphen d of svelte tree process and sas so these are the only two uh, dependencies we have to install okay so once it is done i'm going to import svelte tree processor so i'll call this pre processor from svelte hyphen tree process the way we use it is uh, pre-process pre-processor and uh, well, that should be enough we can also pass an empty object here i think it should be fine and after this um, it should work so in the index i'll have a style tag uh, you have to mention the language as uh, SAS, uh, SCSS, the extension. And now, in order to try it here, I'll just have a division uh, wrapping this around. I'll call this wrapper. Uh, now, I will target this H1 uh, wrapper, and inside I have H1. Uh, this is a SAS uh, style. I will give the color as uh, Conflower blue or something, and if we go back here and server this, let's see what happened. Yeah, we are getting it. So the SAS is working. If you want an external file, you can actually uh, use that as well. Like, let's say in static, I create a style.css and uh, actually style dot yes css sas file and then i have this sas style here so i'll remove this one now and i will import it here so uh, import it to a root layout if you want to use it on all the pages but uh, for demonstration i'm just showing it here import dot dot slash dot dot slash i think here we get static and then styled dot css right now here we'll do some changes instead of that light uh, green or something and yes it already applied it so this is how you can use uh, sas in uh, sort kit all right guys thank you bye bye